Hey guys, another pro tip for Para. Uh, not really in any sort of situation right now that I can fully utilize this piece of equipment, but this has been a gift from God. Well, I'd say God, but it's the brain of Christian Bag, who is the man behind the bowhead, and everybody is starting to realize how gifted this individual is so anytime he wants to retire from his day job and just make adaptive equipment we're waiting for you christian but this is the aisle chair that he developed as a over six foot tall man so if somebody wants to give me grief and say you know i'm, I'm too big for that thing you're not it fits in a bag it goes on my lap and this allows me to board the plane without any assistance from the airlines and their aisle chair. So I have come into questionable situations where my wheelchair doesn't fit all the way up the ramp from the tarmac to the smaller planes, but any large plane is fine. And I am able to transfer midway up the ramp on the level ground before you get into the jet uh, onto this outside of the plane too, but most of the time I'm able to get right up to the door and So this thing just pops apart pull it out and it snaps Careful of your fingers because so I've caught mine before And it's about a three week long little pinchy bruise but da -da -da -da. We that's my concentration base we have a seat. It has just a mesh seat on it. Gosh, I'm sure Christian probably sewed the cover too and it's perfect. This is the foot plate. It's got some grip tape on the top and it goes. And when this sits on your lap, it slides in to these holes beside the multi-directional wheels, which are super cool. They have them on some luggage that goes with wheelchairs too. I don't have any of that yet, but Maybe it'll come. Yeah, so that goes in. And this goes on the ground. And it doesn't have any brakes. So, you know, the I say unassisted on the plane, but the flight attendants are always there to give you a hand. It just means you don't need to have extra people around when you're when you're doing it. You can just get away with the regular flight crew. So when I transfer onto the thing, I kind of put my hand in the center of the seat so that it doesn't tip over because that's a concern down into the thing. And then I'm able to, once my feet are on the foot plate, and remember I'm five foot eight, mostly legs. Christian, the man who makes this thing is six foot two. Oh, you saw, I just picked myself up. So when you lean forward, you'll kind of hit the foot plate and that's probably why it's bent a little bit, but it didn't do any damage. It just ensures that you're on the thing safe. And then when I get on the plane, I just put the bag on my lap and I take the bungee cord that I have that I wrap around the bag when it's in there, put it around my knees so they stay together. And you're able to, uh, I'm gonna grab something that's heavier. Here we go. Move around. Tiny chair. Whoop, tiny chair. <laughs> it's a lot of fun, actually. It's ridiculous. I used it in my brother's kitchen the first time, and everybody was singing the little Spider Man song, which is funny. And you're just able to move around. It's really small, it's perfect. It can go really anywhere. Uh, you do have to be a little bit careful here because the backrest doesn't doesn't fully stop so it will lean forward and everybody likes to push on your backrest to help you down an aisle which for somebody who's paralyzed and has no core function can be a little bit nerve-wracking but yeah this is the this is the little tiny chair and then back up into my seat oh the huge benefit okay regardless of if you want to get on and off the plane by yourself this allows you to go pee while you're on the plane without having to worry about somebody grabbing a 
one of the aisle chairs from the back. Sometimes they don't have them at all. And this is actually able to fit in the tiny stall. So I just pull in straight forward and I'm able to close the door behind me. So I can kind of clamber up and get back onto the toilet or, you know, for those of you that cat or just empty a leg bag, you know, you probably don't always leave your seat, but um, you're able to use this chair instead of being told because of turbulence, you can't go pee. And then you end up peeing beside strangers on flights, which is fine most of the time until somebody has a problem with it. But we'll just let the spasms do their thing for a second. And when you pull the whole thing apart, grab the back of the seat, how on heavy my is legs. It? Uh, I don't know, like 17 to 20 pounds, let's say. It's a dumbbell weight. And so <laughs> this is always the fun part because people like to get up in your business, but kind of hit it at the bottom and hope you catch it before it flies away. <laughs> and then this down, down, back, folds in, and then this one folds together. Let me take that, put it in back in the crappy bag that I have for it, which is just a reusable grocery bag. Um, I would like to find one a little bit more substantial, possibly on this trip that says Maui and uh, it'd be cool if it was had like a proper bag that zipped but again this is free it was under my kitchen sink not the chair the bag and with a simple bungee cord got your aisle chair which is good to go so pro tips for Paras this is a item from Christian Bag. I think it's about 400 American dollars was what it came for. Um, he's busy building the bowhead now. So I'm not sure if the price has gone up because he is extraordinarily busy with two kids and his family at home with his wife. But uh, again, thank you Christian for this chair because I can't afford a bowhead. We're starting small. Um, just your, your genius. And I hope you always give towards this world that we all sit in. So pro tips for Paris. Thanks so much, you guys.